Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Mid Week War. We are doing things differently today, except we're not. I want to talk about NXT right away. I'm Mad Mike. With me, as always, is the one and only Sorgatron. It's me, it's me, and it's daylight again. Uh, our schedules have just turned out, and, and here we are again, uh, doing doing the daylight thing. Uh, oh and, and there's proof. Through upside down. Look, we got a beach view, a lovely beach view out here in Sorgatron Media Studios in the Pittsburgh, PA. You can see the neighborhood and the hustle and the bustle and the street tacos in the corner there. The hustle and or the bustle. I love it, Sorg. Hustle, bustle, and street tacos. As all right, uh, s- all right. So, Sorg, I, I, I propose that we do not do in chronological order like you normally like to, because I need to talk about NXT. So, what is your one word for NXT? My one word for NXT is future. Okay, my one word for NXT is whispering. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, um, Sorg, before. Before we get into this, um, you you watched all of NXT, right? I watched all of NXT. Now, uh, something probably seemed to miss to you during NXT, especially during that um, Lars Sullivan match. Okay. 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 Because, um, and we'll get into like good, bad, change, all that. But I need to say this first. So I normally watch the WWE Network. With, with closed, closed captioning. captioning. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what happened, what got Fruity in the loops, but um, the Lars Sullivan match was cut short. Like, it abruptly, we didn't even see the finish for it. I did. Really? I, so I watched the live stream. Like, I, I happened to be watching it live. I didn't watch the replay or anything. Okay. okay, so now this makes this even weirder. Okay, I, I did not watch the live stream. I watched the version that's uploaded onto WWE Network. Okay. Um, and I believe Bobby had this problem too. I saw him tweeting about it. The Lars Sullivan match gets cut short. Okay. And we don't see the rest of it. But because I have closed captioning during the uh, during the Sandy promo. I see the closed captioning talking about Lars Sullivan. Okay. And then during the um, the Daria match, I see closed captioning with Johnny Gargano talking to two people at the PC. Right. I have not seen these segments. Wait. I have only. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So it got cut out of the replay that you bring up on demand, right? Uh-huh. But the closed captioning is still there. So it's like the video file got truncated, right? Yes. So you missed the entire thing where Sullivan um, has a confrontation with... Um, with No Way Jose. With No Way Jose. You didn't see any of that. No, oh, the only reason I know is because like, like when I'm trying to listen to the Sandy promo, the closed captioning says... No, no way, Jose's showing you up. I, I can read No Way Jose's promo. Huh? It's real weird. Hence, whispering. <laughs> <laughs> then you missed my good for the week. Okay. Well, let's, let's start, start with that it. then, Sorg. Let's start with your good for the week. I was figuring you would be super excited about this, and I was worried this is the thing that you were going to want to say for your awesome thing of the week. Um, but I, my awesome thing of the week is they did that interview in the PC. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I think I'm confusing. No, this was a different segment. They had, there was another segment in the PC that I'm thinking about. The one that had Ruby Riot. Okay, that one I saw. Okay, and did that you that one? Notice, I, that one. And did you notice? You know, something kind of intriguing happening behind. Was that, was that Tommaso, Tommaso Ciampa working out? No, 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 no. It was Danny Birch and Orny Lorcan Lorcan working out as a tag team. Okay. 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 Yes. yes. I, I, I did. I, I was I was blinded by Ruby Riot and the uh, and between Ruby Riot being on screen and the captions being two segments ahead, mm-hmm. it was very weird. <laughs> or two two segments behind. So. It was. It was very. It was. A, it's a weird viewing of NXT this week, Sork. It was all around. 
But yeah, okay, so all right, Birch and Lorcan working as a tag team. I I I like that, but I want the fucking rubber match first. <laughs> Well, if you don't have a rubber match, well, and then this this leads me to thinking about that is if you have, the idea of two people coming together as a tag team, um, have you been more excited about the inevitability of them breaking up and having a feud afterwards? Uh, no, because we uh, I pick one or the other. Do a rubber match or do a tag team. Oh, I no, don't no, no, care. We'll have a tag team. We'll love it. See. We'll love it. Just like I, DIY, but then we'll have amazing feud matches afterwards when we inevitably really break to up. To see the bald brotherhood beating ass. That That's what I want to see. That is true. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, all right. So, so my, my, my good this week is um, I, I thought NXT was whispering to me. Was whispering to you. Yeah, I, I thought I thought there was there was a, a huge problem, and I was like I was Neo looking through the Matrix. <laughs> you were like like you were like like there's coded messages in WWE Network. Yes, uh, which I mean there are you know I work there I know this trust me, um, but Sorg, who was Johnny Gargano talking to? Um, that was the one guy that was the football player in uh, Breaking Ground. And his oh, and his tag you know, team Sammy partner, Telly and Riddick Moss. Thank you. Okay, okay. that's way less exciting than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's like I, you know, I I don't really care about these guys well, wrestling well, each they other. Said they, bro they said they broke up DIY. Oh, yeah, I'm like, are they, they talking to the revival or the author? Is, is he talking to revival or, or authors of pain? Because I'd be like, okay, okay I'd like to see Johnny Gargano versus one, one of the authors of pain. pain. Apparently, there was a tag match before they broke up mm -hmm. uh, on an NXT that I don't remember because it was how long ago, and they're bringing that back around. I don't remember that at all. Nope. Because, because if, any, if anyone broke up DIY, DIY nope, it was a ladder. It was, it was a, ladder. a ladder. It was a ladder, yes. <laughs> it was a ladder to the face. Yes. Um, but anyways, oh, I think I know what's happening. I, I apologize, everybody out there. Apparently, we've had a bit of an echo, and I've been trying to figure out this for the last couple of minutes. But uh, we, I apparently had Mike on uh, uh, twice. He should be corrected now. Are you? Are you corrected? I, Sorg, it's just you trying to duplicate the whispering from the NXT and the machine. That, that's it. That's exactly it. So apolo apologies for that. Um, yes. so the first bit of the show may have to be redone. I don't know. Uh, well, let's okay. just keep going. Let's just keep going. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll keep doing it. We'll, we'll do it live, Sorg. Exactly. This is, why, this is why we shouldn't podcast when the sun's out. <laughs> By the way, I was cracking my voice on purpose. Just, just in case people didn't know. All right, Sorg, what's your bad for NXT this week? Uh, my bad for this week is, ah, oh, Oscar's going away. <laughs> Oh, oh! They, it was a hell of a send off. I liked it. I, I did. I did. I, I did like. They, and they didn't even mention her injury. There, it, which is kind of an interesting way for writing her off a bit, right? Um, because now I she's going to be in that. Oh, she's being looked at, and you knows when she'll pop up, and and you know they'll kind of give it some time probably, and she'll pop up whenever they want her to pop up, right? Sorg, I'm still speculative about this. Are you? Of course you are. I, I still. Because I, you know how you know how this how they say the saying is nobody's ready for Oscar. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I think there is someone that's ready for Oscar. I think there is. And spoiler alert: she's not on Raw or SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Spoiler, 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 spoiler alert: she's in the finals for the May Young Classic. Mm -hmm. Also, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert. Because I don't know how many people have seen the Mae Young Classic yet. It's Shayna Baszler. <laughs> <laughs> well, you warned them. I did. Um, I mean, I don't know if she's going to win the Mae Young Classic yet. Mm -hmm. Obviously, no one knows that. They're filming it um, live next Tuesday. Only, only while we're talking about dicks or something. Only Paul knows. <laughs> um, But I, Shayna Baszler winning the NXT Women's title... And maybe Asuka coming out to kick her head off. Um, hold on, hold on. Um, here is a check for NXT. Take all of my money. 
All of it. Mike, I need to ask you a question. Yes, Ork, what's up? What are your thoughts on Sonya Deville? Uh, my thoughts are... All right, Here, here's... Do you remember when we had Bull Dempsey, Sorg? I remember Bull Dempsey. And, and remember we liked Bull Dempsey? Yeah. And then remember when they signed Kevin Owens right after that? Yeah. And Kevin Owens basically did all the shit Bull Dempsey did, but way better? Because that was Kevin Owens. Yeah, that's Sonya Deville. Oh, no. You're, are you telling me that we're going to get a Deville fit? Uh, I'd, be, I'd, I'd be okay with that, but like, I, I'd probably say Sonya Yoga or something like that. Sonya Yoga? But, but yeah. I mean, it, it, it seems like we already have someone who can lace up and tie up way better than Sonya Deville. <laughs> What was it? What was it? A uh, hair up, t- hair up, uh, uh, get up, or something like that. I, I, I mi- tie, Missy, tie up, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I forget what uh, it was. Missy really liked that when she was watching with me. Apparently, um, she had a promo that was also being whispered to me through NXT. Oh, so I didn't see you that didn't part. see that either. But but she had a match with <laughs> the same person that Shayna had in the first round. The the, the jujitsu girl. Was Zeta. Zeta, yes. Uh, uh, Vega, Which, v- Vega, 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 Vega. Vega. Yeah, like, I remember because I made a Street Fighter joke in my head. Okay, thank you. Because uh, that's where I was going to. Um, so, like, she had kind of the same match as Shayna did, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel bad for Daria Veronata or Sonya Deville or whoever we're calling her. Mm. Sonya Deville, I guess. No, she's definitely. I, it, it does feel like she's going to get overshadowed by, by Baszler if, she, if Baszler continues past. Like May Young Classic. honestly, honestly, they should just send her up at this point. Basler, or no, no, so- Sonya Deville. Oh, I don't know if she's ready for that. She's not, but they can't have them both on the same show. That's true. That's true. Unless they become a really because... kick-ass tag team. Sorg, let, let's stop trying to do tag teams. No, the only, just, win- the, only seeing... the only the only women's tag team I want to see is the iconic duo. Okay. Okay. And maybe a so return. Tag team and maybe against a returning Lake Hole. Yes. Didn't I try to book that in Mayhem Mania? I think you did try to book that in Mayhem Mania. Yeah. <laughs> so. Still will be a great match, damn it. Yes. Stop stifling my dreams, Matt Carlin. <laughs> uh, yeah, but. Uh, okay, yeah. But I don't. Sonya Deville. I feel bad for her because I like Sonya Deville. But. And their names even sound similar. They do a little bit. Sonya, Shayna, like, uh, I feel bad for her, but she's going to be gone. Mm-hmm. She's going to be gone in a couple months. And she's doing great. She's doing great. Yeah, she's doing fine, but Shayna Baszler, <laughs> unless this is one of those situations where they couldn't sign Shayna Baszler, which I seriously doubt, but, uh I yeah, feel bad yeah. For or or like I said, the, the the four horsewomen thing could be a thing that happens, and then just goes straight to the main roster, and uh, and 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 Sonya just does the NXT thing while Shane is doing whatever on the on the big time. I yeah, but then does Sonya ever think she's gonna get called up? Mm-hmm. Uh, she won't. See what she does. She won't. She with yeah, maybe maybe All there'll right. be room for a couple and uh, uh, MMA looking uh, girls on the main roster. We do have multiple rosters now. Yeah, I guess. So, anyway. we need we need like we need like a one fifteen live, like <laughs> a one ten live. I, I mean, I don't want to assume, but you know. Well, no, no, no. I I, f- I feel like you have to put a five at the end of it. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right, but my bad this week. What are we doing with Kashisono and Hideo mm-hmm. Tommy? What are we do- what are we doing with them? I don't care as little as I do about anything Roderick Strong does, but I'm still like, eh. Okay. All right. Uh, sure. Yeah. I I I I don't know. I don't even know at this point. Like Hooray! Ono oh cheated too. Mhm. Yay. What? I I don't care. I don't care about anything Cassiano has done. And it's a shame cuz I like Cassiano. But I don't know. Maybe he needs to be a heel. Maybe he needs to actually knock someone out as opposed to just telling people he's a knockout artist. Because, I mean, he says he's a knockout artist. Has he knocked anyone out? 
Sorg, I'm legitimately asking you. Oh, I don't, uh, I, I don't know since he I came can't, back. I can't, no. I can't recall. No, no, I think I think he's out of. I think he's a little rusty as the knockout artist right now. Uh, so no, no, I'm not seeing it either. Especially when you have guys like Danny Birch and Oni Lorcan who can legitimately not be knock people out. Absolutely. Like they may as well all be a trios and call themselves the Knockout Kings. I don't know. <laughs> we'll do something. <laughs> and Lars Sullivan, he also knocks people out. Like there are a lot of people that are knocking other people out that are not Cassius Ona. There, there are a lot of people in the in 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 the ventures of a knocking out. Yes. Tina saying maybe Cassius could join up with a former king again. I don't want to drag Cesaro down to that level. Hmm. Cesaro's doing fine. I, don't, I think if anything, we need to elevate Cesaro. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't want to. Cesaro should not be slumming it at this point. <laughs> and Cassius Ono is definitely slumming it. Oh no. Okay. Um. Well, my change for this week. Yeah, I was is just ask. with the Lars, Lars Lars Sullivan thing. Obviously, you saw that there was a three on one match. I do enjoy that they, they went set up for like a tag, and he's like, "No, I want all three of you in here." Um, uh-huh. That's the second time we saw that this week. That is true. That is the second time we saw that this week. Um, and which one played it better? We'll play that game later. Uh, but uh, I it, it just kind of took me back to the days of a uh, friend of the show, Dylan Bostic, and whoever his partner was. Um, doing rhymes for Ryback. <laughs> okay. Like, let's have some goofy fun with the multiple people. Other than the fact that this Lars guy is just straight scary, uh, so mm-hmm. maybe not. But, uh, you know, next week when he faces five people, like, they can do, like, a, I don't know, an NSYNC tribute since uh, you're into that era of music as we found out before <laughs> the show. I mean, you might as well. I how did that match end, by the way, Sword? Because I only how saw. How like, do you think it ended? <laughs> um, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Oh, pretty much, pretty much. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, my change this week. Can we do something with with Adam Cole and Red Dragon? Can we fucking do something with them? But they have to be in the ring. I know. Can we do something with them? They ha- they have not made it past the stage. No, they have not. No, they have not. Are they allergic to full sale? I got to get out of here. My eyes are itchy. <laughs> It'd be great if they were actually <laughs> turns allergic out, to full sale. Turns out there's something in full sale that Adam Cole is allergic to, and he's like, I can't stick around, guys. Let's roll out. Allergies, baby! Allergies, <laughs> baby. Exactly. <laughs> Damn it. Now I want that to be his gimmick. <laughs> Sne- uh, sneezy you know, Apple Adam Cole. You know if Adam Cole ever wants a um like a um like to pull a Dolph Ziggler and advertise for something that's kinda oh, like freaking wireless, he can just advertise for Robotussin. <laughs> He's just hanging with that. Allergies, baby! No, no, no. It's the CG owl from the allergy medicine that kept oh, popping up. Zizel. Yeah, the Zizel. Zizel. Yes. That, that was okay. trolling the Hardy Boys matches. Don't be Wizel. Take new Zizel, baby. Oh, yeah, boy. Okay. All right, I can see that. And Adam Cole does kind of look like an owl, so I'm okay with that. Thing. <laughs> but not in a bad way. Not in a bad way, no. Just just in he, – he looks wise. <laughs> he looks wise and, and stoic. Stoic Adam Cole, there's this new gimmick. Yes, Stoic <laughs> Adam Cole can team up with Canada Dry Jackson. <laughs> the gimmicks we come up with on these shows. Oh, you don't know. They could have been talking about that backstage at IWC a couple months ago. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. I mean, this is not a you know, it's not like he they, they, they haven't shared the same space in recent months here with the international Canada wrestling. Dry, baby. And you can check those out on IndieWrestling.us. Plug. Yes. Um, Sorg. <laughs> Sorg, hmm. did we miss anything from NXT this week? Nothing worth we talking did. about, I don't think. Um, your girl, your girls, the iconic duo, are going to be uh, against Ruby Riot and a partner of her choosing. And let's take a little pick. I, I, you know, not seeing any spoilers. Who do you think her partner is going to be? Oh God! It, if there is a merciful Lord in Jesus, it's Nikki Cross. Mm-hmm. I don't think it will be, but Sandy are kind of facey now. 
I and I could see them doing something similar, like with Rosemary showed up to help Allie in TNA back when I watched it. Be like, hey, you're crazy. I'm crazy too. We should hang out together. Mm-hmm. You have tattoos. Oh, well, I guess the other one doesn't have tattoos. Um, I I was thinking it would probably end up be Ember Moon because they had a thing with Ember, uh, uh before Takeover. So that seems okay. like that would just come back. Um, Tina Tina's also throwing up the prediction of Abby Lath. Oh yes, yeah. and please. That's what I was. Gonna, well, that'd be good. There's a good Chikara connection there. But I was all yeah. I was going to ask like, do you think it'd be somebody from the main Young Classic? Uh, perhaps debuting or at least debuting in a better position here. If if I could pick someone from the Mae Young Classic, it wouldn't be Abby. I'd rather see because Abby's kind of been, she's had NXT matches. Mm-hmm. Um, I would prefer Candice wrestling. That would be amazing. That would oh that, that's, that's good, that's good. And I would I, prefer and, Candice wrestling because I, then they then they can be like the female DIY. Ooh yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, and, and well, I, before I was thinking of Candice, um, I was thinking like Mia, sisters Mia, are DIY. <laughs> Mia Yim would be a good pick. Mia Yim's always a good pick for everything. Yeah, <laughs> just across the board, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I want to see the promos with the iconic doing Candice LeRae. There you go. Tina says dual. I ch- want to see that dual Chikara specials, and we'll talk about that. I think in two hundred five live. Indeed, we will. Uh, but yeah, I, if I if I could pick someone from the May, actually, you know what? Secondary choice from the May Young Classic, Piper Niven. Oh yes, just just have her destroy the iconic duo. She would be the perfect anti-iconic duo person because, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So Sorg, where did you rank NXT this week? Um, three. Three. I just had more fun with the other shows. There was some good points in there. Um, I like the Oscar stuff, but there was like nothing wrestling got me excited in this show. Uh huh. Um, I have to give it three based on the fact that I only suck three quarters of the show. <laughs> Yours is on a technicality, apparently. A literal technicality. A literal technical was, technicality. So something was technically wrong. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, yeah. So it's number three for me. Uh. If I had seen the other things, maybe it'd be higher. I don't know. If I saw the end of the Lars Sullivan match, I might have enjoyed it more. That feels doubtful. I yeah, probably. I'm trying to be hopeful. Mm-hmm. Trying to be hopeful for an next thing. Alrighty, so Sorg, where can the good people on the internet find you? Uh, Sorgatron Media is where you can start, um, or we're at one six one nine Broadway Avenue. I'm usually here. All right, and you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machines. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I kind of spoiled that something was wrong with this week's NXT uh, on the on the Mayhem Show Twitter feed. And I also live tweet things like Lucha Underground every week. So, um, Sorg, for next time, I'm at Mike. He's Sorgatron. We'll catch you on the Mid Week One.